Well, two teenagers are facing murder charges after police say they clubbed a man in the head with a skateboard and then kicked him when he went to the ground. That attack happened 10 days ago on August 7th. 24 hours ago, the victim, Jamie Weathers, died from his injuries. And we're learning tonight that Weathers was attacked two separate times that night. We'll send things over now to Jordan Smith, who is live on East Mission, where that attack took place. Jordan, what have you learned? Yeah, we're here on the corner of Mission and Green, and this is the parking lot here behind me where they found Weathers unresponsive. Paramedics took him to the hospital, and he suffered multiple attacks that night, and it's unclear whether those teenage suspects actually knew Weathers at all. On Monday, August 7th, Jamie Weathers was attacked multiple times. The first instance along Mission Avenue near Chief Gary Park. Court documents say Weathers was in a confrontation with several people inside of a car and one of those occupants got out and punched him in the face. That car then drove off. The second attack happened just one block over. Police say 19-year-old Justin Halet and 18-year-old Quentin Tyndale confronted Weathers. Court documents say Tyndale hit Weathers over the head with a skateboard and Halet appeared to kick him while he was on the ground. Police used security camera footage to trace the two teenagers to the young adult shelter just steps away from the Conoco parking lot. On August 9th, two days later, they were arrested for first-degree assault. Tyndale admitted to hitting Weathers with his skateboard, and Halet said he lightly stepped on Weathers' head to teach him a lesson. But one week later, Weathers died from his injuries, and detectives upgraded the two teenagers' charges from first-degree assault to second-degree murder. And again, it's unclear what the motive was behind these attacks. And again, whether there was any connection between the suspects and Weathers, uh, they will be arraigned later this month. And this is certainly a story we'll be keeping an eye on as it progresses. We'll be sure to keep you up to date with what we learn next. In Spokane tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.